God has your best interests at heart and there is no way your life will not be the way God wants it to be if He is the mastermind of everything that happens in your life. Do you want to know reasons why being single is not the will of the Lord for you? Follow the discussions as we reveal four reasons it is not the delight of the Lord for you to remain single. Number one, it keeps you away from the purpose of companionship. There is one area of the life of man that God quickly corrected after he had created man and kept man in the garden. God saw that man was lonely and alone and the work that has been assigned for man to do is not just something man can do alone without the company of somebody around him to cheer and strengthen him up and encourage him to do more for himself. God has known that human beings would not need to be alone especially when it concerns the things which will help the life of a human being to be effective to ensure that they fulfill God's purpose for their life. God will always be there to give them all the human resources that they require to fulfill that purpose. It is not the delight of the Lord that you remain single. It is not God's plan for you not to have someone in your life because from the beginning, God knows that you need someone to be with you. God knows you need a friend and a lover to give you company, to give you that experience of a lover's feeling. Those affections are not limited to a particular gender. It works for everyone because God knows everyone needs someone to help them and to give them that warmth and affection to keep them going daily, especially when things are not going well. You will always have a support system in that person. God looked at Adam and said to himself, it is not good for this man to be alone in this garden alone without someone like him and in his likeness and with his understanding. So God gave him the woman which he created from inside the man. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. Now the Lord God said, It is not good, sufficient, satisfactory that the man should be alone. I will make him a helper, meet, suitable, adapted, complementary for him. It has always been the desire and the delight of the Lord for you to be with someone good that will compliment you in every way. Not just a random person that worms himself into your life. No, there is that real person that God has made for you. Verse 21 And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and while he slept, he took one of his ribs or a part of his side and closed up the place with flesh. With the presence of another person, especially the person that God has brought to you, your life will always have that sense of fullness, completeness, and you will not feel alone on the journey and the path of love and life. That is the reason God does not desire for you to be single, because He knows the role that the other person plays in your life. Number two is for the sake of love. Love is one essential property of life that is felt within the emotions of a person, either towards oneself or towards another person. You must know that life itself is a relationship from the womb where you were born to the tomb where the body will be laid when you finally return to your Maker. You will always need people in your life. From the beginning of your venture and to the last day you will decide to retire, you will need someone that will give you that feeling of humor you will need someone that will share with you that soft feeling of emotional concern that will keep you happy, keep you always smiling and laughing with great ecstasy from the heart. Do you know that there are some things that love stands to do in the life of someone that which is never and can never be overlooked? Love gives you the sense of belonging and acceptance with people and with someone. God knows that you need love to be accepted by someone because if they do not love you, they will not accept you. Like our Lord Jesus Christ, love drove him out of the comfort of heaven, the realm of the Godhead and made him identify with the fallen man in order to restore man back to the lovely and godly relationship that God had with man in the beginning. You need someone to make you feel loved and someone to give love to as well. That is the reason God is saying you do not have to stay alone. That is the reason God is saying you do not have to remain in that status of not having someone in your life whom you can profoundly call your lover and someone with whom you are sharing your time, space, and life together. He did not create just one. It is written that He created them male and female so that they can tend and keep the earth. 
Your own space on earth has been allocated to you, so you have to acknowledge the need and the importance of having someone to complete you so that you will have that fullness and tend to and accomplish your mission on earth with joy and ease. You will have all things working out for you without any stress because it is written that one shall chase 1,000, but two shall chase 10,000. The purpose of destiny will be made easy if you have someone that will compliment you and give you that support while loving you. Your destiny is very important to the Lord God that has created you and that is the reason he is saying you have to get someone. You do not have to remain single and continue to live all by yourself. Staying alone without someone you love and the absence of a loved one in your life makes your life more difficult, especially when facing hard times and the affliction of this life. You need love because true love brings God into the activities of your life. Number three is for the purpose of procreation. This is one command and instruction that God gave to man when he was blessing and speaking to man at the beginning. God said, be fruitful and multiply, subdue the earth. That statement is a green light that there is a need to replicate the creation of man through the biological means that God has given to human and this can only be done if people of different gender agree to come together in that purpose to fulfill this purpose and ensure the multiplication of their kind. You cannot multiply, you cannot procreate if you do not find someone to relate together in that aspect of your life. You have to produce someone in the likeness of yourself. There would have been no way humans, including the people of God, would multiply on earth if they had not come together. That is the reason it is not the will of the Lord for you to be single. It is not the desire of the Lord for you to be alone because God wants to bring to the earth great people that he will use to perform his divine will on earth. If you remain single, that plan and purpose will not come to pass. That is the reason it is not the delight of the Lord to keep you single. You need to procreate to fill the earth and let the will of the God of heaven be done. Number four is for security purpose. Have you not read that one cannot keep warm? It is two that can keep warm. Ecclesiastes chapter four verse eight. Here is one alone, no one with him. He neither has child nor brother, yet there is no end to all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches, neither does he ask, for whom do I labor and deprive myself of good? This is also vanity, emptiness, falsity and futility. Yes, it is a painful effort and an unhappy business. Two are better than one because they have a good, more satisfying reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him who is alone when he falls and has not another to lift him up. Again, if two lie down together, then they have warmth, but how can one be warm alone? All this danger is very obvious before the Lord, because when you are alone, when you do not have someone in your life, when you are always with yourself and not interested in relating with people, then you may find yourself being vulnerable to the invasion of the thought of the devil and the enemies can attack you because there will be no one to watch your back for you. Never start alone because that is not the will of the Lord for you. Never give up on love yet because of the things that you have seen and received from people. Never think your relationship with anybody will always end up the same way with the past one. It will not. God is telling you to give another relationship a trial because God will cause it to be a blessing to you.